to make them lips look juicy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I was asked to do a full face of Sephora. I mentioned a couple times that I did that video and I lost the footage. So I was asked if I would do it again. And this is the look that I came up with. I did not plan to go this deep with it, but it just kind of happened and I was very pleasantly surprised. So this is how everything turned out. I absolutely love this look. And I can't wait to show you everything that I used except for my liner and my mascara. I believe is from the Sephora collection. So if you're interested in some of their products, please watch this video so you can see how the products apply and hear my recommendations. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, join the family. I do makeup, hair, nails, and fitness. So everything related to beauty, but I won't keep you waiting. If you want to see what products I use to get this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. So I always start my videos with primer and I do have one of my favorite primers from Sephora. So happy to be able to show that one in this video. So this is the Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. This says it helps to diffuse the look of imperfections. I really like this. It kind of gives me professional vibes. I definitely feel like it does smooth and it just feels good applying it. So especially right now with the Sephora sale and it being 30% off, I think it's a great product to try if you're interested in it. We're going to start off with eyes today. I also have an eye primer from them. This is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. That's all it says. It says perfecting and smoothing eye primer. Pretty standard. I will say that I don't love that this doesn't have some color to it just to kind of help with the discoloration on my eyelids, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it because I do wanna do I literally pulled every single product I have out of my collection. This does feel like it's pretty smooth and it dried pretty quickly. I just wish it had a little more pigment to help with the darkness on my lid, but we will make it work. For eyeshadow palettes, I have two. Where's the second one? Oh, here it is. Um, so this is the one I did this video before and I lost footage. So kind of bummed about that because I loved my look and I used this Sephora pocket palette and this one is in the plum tones and this is so so pretty I used just this palette and I used every shade in this palette and it came out so gorgeous so I was like you know what I'm just gonna refilm that look because I love how it turned out and then I went to find this on the Sephora website and it's not there I really wish they would stop discontinuing stuff don't make it hard on us. So I actually bought another Sephora palette because I knew I wanted to do this video. So I picked this up during the sale. This is the Destinations palette. Y'all cannot say Barbara is not a creature of habit, but this is so pretty. There was another one that I thought was really pretty too. But I went with this one because I remember swatching this brown shade up here and how deep it was. And I was just like, yep, I need it. Plus every time a palette has this shade, I get sucked into it. It's that kind of blue-brown, duochrome. Can you see it? I feel like my lights are super bright today. Um, I'm also filming earlier, kind of like green to purple to whatever. So that's probably going to end up on my lid. We're going to start off with this tan shade here and just see. I want to see how the pigment of it is. Especially, oh, what? Okay, do I need to swatch this? Because I did not think that was gonna be that dark. All right, time out. <laughs> we gotta do some swatches. Is it the primer? So I swatched all the mattes. So this is what the shades look like right here. So this is that bigger cream shade, which I guess would be like a brow bone highlight or a lid shade. This is the shade that I just put on my eye that I did not expect to be that dark and then this shade is really really pretty too and then look how dark that is so yeah that's the mattes right there 
Very, very cool toned. You can barely see that one. And that look, like all the pigments stuck to my finger, but I think it's because I just put that primer on. Mm, those are more like, um, where, these are the satins slash kind of shimmers, but not really. So that's that first shade that I said I was going to probably use. Love a good green. And that's a really pretty purple. So this primer is definitely doing what it said it was going to do because y'all saw the swatches did not look nearly as deep as this, but the primer is definitely grabbing it and making it stick to my eye and show up very, very dark. So I was not expecting that much from that primer, but I'm impressed. So now I'm gonna go in with that dark brown shade and they just have these numbered. So this is number four, the dark brown shade. And I am just going to, yeah, look at that. That did, okay, y'all saw the swatch, right? Where is it even? Here. That's why they say you cannot go buy swatches because, ooh, child, I was not, you know, I'm not gonna say I wasn't expecting it because I saw it on my finger but I was not expecting it to lay down like this because of how it swatched. But this primer might be doing something here. We're gonna do a little bit of a halo eye today. God, that is getting dark. And it's applying really well. It's not patchy, like, whoa. So now I'm gonna go in with the purple shimmer shade. I'm gonna try this first with a fluffy brush and see. We're gonna put that on this outer part just to kind of give it something to help blend into the lighter shimmer shade. This shade is just coming off really dark too, but it's you can definitely see the purple in it. And then we're gonna take that light green blue i have no idea what this is going to look like so pray for me and just put that do not need to spray my brush it is definitely showing up better than i expected and i don't know if it's just because of the dark shades i have around it but this is a really, really pretty shade. Right now, I do like how all these shades look together. So this is promising. So we're gonna move into foundation. I have the Sephora Best Skin Ever Longwear Foundation. I have mine in the shade 44Y. I don't love that I could not find, well, I don't know how it's gonna look now since I am a little tan. I did not feel like when my skin was lighter, when I was a lighter shade, that I could find something that matched really well. So hopefully this is better. Ooh, that looks yellow. Oh goodness. I have a color corrector from them as well. I'll probably use that under my eyes, but I don't normally color correct on my face anymore. I don't feel like I need to as much as I used to, but we'll see. Ooh, ooh that's yellow. But you can see just from one and a half pumps, I would say this was. The coverage is pretty good. It is a medium, I would say. I'm just gonna try to pull this down so it blends a little bit better. I don't think it's bad. I just don't love when it's yellow like this, but we're gonna go through and make it work like we normally do. So this is what, this is about a pump. I mean, a little bit extra came out because I haven't used this in a while. But you can see pretty good coverage. Do feel like it looks like skin. Would look even more like skin if I had the right shade. I think what I'm gonna do, just because I wanna show you all the color correctors. So I have their gel serum, Bright Future Gel Serum. Is that what it's called? Yeah, gel, gel serum concealer and their color corrector. I don't know why I have this. I don't know where I thought I was going with this light shade. This is Ginger Snap. I think I ordered that online and then 
didn't bring it back in time, but I'm gonna use the color corrector. I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes while I have it out. Sleep has not been my friend lately. And then I'm gonna put a little bit around my mouth and I'm gonna put more foundation. But I don't wanna put a lot, so I'm just kind of putting this to help warm it up and also to color correct where I need it. And I'm using a dry sponge to pat this because I do not want any of the coverage taken away. Usually when you use a damp concealer, damp sponge, it picks up a little bit of the project prop. I can't talk today. Slow down, sweetheart. It picks up a little bit of the product, so it shears out the coverage, but I don't want that. So that is another reason why you will see that I stipple pressing it into my skin versus swiping because I want the coverage to stay right where I put it. So now for concealer, I also have the Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. I have mine in 35N, which I think I remember. Yeah, this is, I feel like it's a little, uh, it is a good shade. Let me stop. I feel like I normally, I'm so used to using a lighter shade that I was about to say, I don't know if this is light enough, but it is. And I really like the undertone of this one because it is not yellow, not too gold. I think this looks so pretty and it's blending so easy. Like, look at that. Now to set my concealer, I wanted to show you two different options. So I have, or three, depending on how much coverage you want. I do have one of the Sephora powder foundations and mine is in the shade 62 Toffee Spice. If you wanted to get this in a lighter shade, you could and use that to set your under eye if you wanted fuller coverage. I also have the translucent setting powder, which I love and will probably be using this one. I also have the micro smooth baked powder and I have it in a lighter shade. This is tan number 35 and I realized they renumbered some of their shades. So I'm not sure if that's still the shade or number or not. And then I also have deep number 60 so you can see the difference between those so the lighter shade i could also use to set under my eye and then the darker shade i'll probably use to set my face to help tone down some of this yellow and we need to hit that forehead first though i don't know why i'm tripping like i don't know that that crease is really fast there we go. It's like as soon as I set that, it just smooths it out and makes it look so much better. That's why my forehead has to be matte because if it's not, those wrinkles are going to, I feel like they're way worse. That just looks so much better. So I'm just gonna go into the powder. I don't know if I said what shade this was, did I? Yeah, 62 Toffee Spice. And I'm just gonna go around the edges to set the foundation and also help to blend this color a little better. But I do feel, I think I feel like, is that gonna work? So it helped, took a, it helped to take away a little bit of the yellow. Huh, I feel like looking at this, like I feel like it looked like it would be light, but it's definitely given more, I don't know if you guys can see the shades the way I'm seeing them. I'm gonna take, my micro smooth in the darker shade. I'm gonna start it here just because I wanna see what it looks like. But this is more of a golden, and it's also gonna help bring back a little bit of sheen so that it's not all so matte. None of this is matching my body. Like, I don't know, am I tripping? I feel like it's just too, I don't know, it matches my chest. I'm going to just keep going because, listen, this is a problem that we know <laughs> that I always have and we ain't going to fix it today. I'm showing you how well these products work. And I'm just going to go in so you can see, I hope you can see, how this just kind of gives a little bit of sheen back to the under eye. It does give some coverage, but it gives a little bit of brightness back and also just a tiny bit of sheen so I don't look oily. It's a lot of powders. I normally don't do that, but I like how this is looking. 
For bronzer, I have their powder bronzer, and this is in the shade 06 Ibiza. But I also have, and I don't think they sell it anymore. They do have a few shades left, but I didn't want to use that for today's video because it looks like it's going out of stock. They have a stick foundation, and I bought two shades in darker shades for me that I use to cream contour. Um, but we're just going to see if I can get this to be dark enough. I initially stayed away from this when it first came out and I saw it because I felt like it was not but it is definitely more of a bronzer than a contour but it's a really really nice smooth formula this definitely has more of a reddish undertone as you can see it's doing a little bit of color but I don't feel like this is it's a bronzer, so it's not supposed to be a contour, but I think this is the deepest shade they have. So keep that in mind if you're a darker skin tone than I am. I went ahead and grabbed it to be able to show you. This is the Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. So I have number 15 Mahogany and number 16 Ebony. I have used Ebony. That was the first one that I got. So that is what it looks like. Oh, she's dry. That is what that one looks like. Super, super dark. That is really dry. These smell, they smell like the lip liners. I just now figured that out. And then this is the lighter shade in Mahogany. I'm going to try <laughs> to not mess this up. I just need a little bit more of a chisel. So I'm going to go in with Ebony. If I can warm this up a little bit and get some on my brush. Yep, I see it. It does not take much because of how deep this is. And just, yeah, that's what I want it. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And I would normally do that first and then go over it with my bronzer. But we had already put the bronzer. But yeah, so just looking at how that looks, I do like that it is more of a contour shade. And then I can go back over it with the bronzer. I also have this Baked Micro Smooth Palette in the shade Captivate. This is supposed to be like a full face. It has two blushes. This is supposed to be a bronzer, but not really. And then this is a highlighter. Let's see, I'm gonna just see if that actually does any. Oh, I think it is actually. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's doing as a bronzer. I do see it's putting some more color. I have one of their Matte Perfection Blush Duos. Okay, so I saw this, loved it. It was the only one I wanted. This is in Tiger Lily, which I'm not sure is going to match. I feel like this shade would, but I don't know about this with my eye look. And then when I went to the store... Yesterday, I was like, oh, I want to pick one of these up. And I looked at all the shades and I was like, man, this Tiger Lily is so pretty. I bought it again. So I'm taking that back. Don't need to, but that just goes to show when my eyes gravitate towards something, I like what I like. I also recommended this and I hope they still have it. This is their Clean Velvet Cream Blush Palette. Mm -hmm. I haven't used this in a while, so we are definitely going to use this today. I'm gonna go in a little bit with that darker shade. I don't know why I want my cheeks. Oh goodness, yes. So dark today. I think it's just because the eyes are giving like purple, smoky, halo, mermaid. And so I just feel like my makeup needs to be dramatic. And that is super dark. And I don't know how I manage, how I'm gonna manage to put another blush on top of that but we are. I'm gonna go ahead and use this lighter shade here, kind of like a blush topper slash highlighter. Oh, I hope you guys can see what that just did. Look at this side versus this side. It didn't take away from my blush. I think I remember feeling like this was a little more gold oh no okay shush your face this is not a bad shade 
and I think it complements what we did with our blush very, very well. Just because <laughs> I'm going to take Tyler Li Tiger Lily and I'm going to go just on the outer. Ooh, that's a lot of pigment. Um, on that outer shade just to kind of blend those together. So I have like five blushes on my face, but it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and finish up eyes. I do have one eyeliner and I felt like I had a liquid liner, but honestly, I got tired of digging. So this is a brown liner, a pencil liner. This is re their retractable eyeliner. It's waterproof in matte brown black. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my bottom lash line. And I also love that it has a little smudge brush on it. So if you like to smudge it out, you can do that. Another product that I think they still have, I hope, their pore, what is this called? Beauty Amplifier Targeted Pore Primer. I didn't use this today because I used that other primer, but on days when I use primers that aren't as smoothing, maybe it's more gripping, maybe it's more mattifying, but I need the pore filling, I'll go in with this. So this is another good product to try if you're interested in pore filling. This light kind of mauve shade. I'm going to start that in the middle. And then we're going to go in, I want to put some glitter on the bottom. So we're going to put that dark purple shimmer and just smoke it out some. I want to smudge it out or blow it out a little bit more. So I'm going to take one of my smaller brushes and I'm going to take that first shade that I used as a transition shade and just go around a little bit lower. I do have their brow pencil. This is the micro brow pencil. I got mine in the shade chocolate brown. I think they do have a, what you call it? One of the ones kind of like the brow definers that have the bigger triangle shape that I like. But I bought this during the last sale in the fall and they did not have it at that time. That might be something that I'll look into but I can use these. I just feel like it takes a lot longer because my brows are pretty full and they already have a shape. So it's easy for me to just go in and use the bigger pencil and do what I need to do and go about my business. This takes a little more time, but it works just as well. So it just depends on your preference. But I'm just gonna do one of them real quick. So you can see, I think this is a great shade. It's not too dark. And I do like the formula of this pencil. It's not too waxy, so it's not sliding around. And it's depositing the color where I want to. I did a video of like full face of my most expensive products and I had a Tom Ford brow pomade and that was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like I put it down and it just would not stay. I think this is it for my brows. I might be going a little more fluffy than I normally do. I normally kind of box this out a little bit more in the front, but I don't know if I want to do that today. We'll see after I finish the other one. I might change my mind, but I have this and then I also have, where's my brow gel? I have their clear brow gel and I'm sorry y'all, I've been fighting a cold. It's not even a cold. It's literally just a stuffy nose for like a week and a half now. So. Just gonna use this to help set this and keep these up like that. But yeah, I kinda like how this looks, so I'm probably not gonna change it. So I'm just gonna do the other one off camera, do my liner, and then come back to do lips and lashes. All right, for lashes, I have five pairs. <laughs> so I love that they have some that are, I think, yeah, just the Sephora brand. So I have this pair in Swanky which I have had the most trouble putting on, but I have a new lash glue that has been helping me. So I'm kind of tempted to try these again. I also have this House of Lashes and Sephora collaboration um, set in Marigold. And this one is really pretty. I have been able to get this one to stay on and I like these, but I've worn these in other videos, so I'm debating. This is a new pair. These are the Iconic Light, also by House of Lashes. I 
feel like the glare always kind of messes this up, but those are super pretty and wispy. I think I want a little more drama. This is also a House of Lashes collaboration, and this is in the pair Citrine. And I still feel like these look a little small for what we got going on today. I don't know, I want a big lash. Now this next pair, this last pair, these are big. These are big, but I have been able to get them on. These are the Sephora brand, the Weightless False Lashes Fluffed and Full. I have a pair of these open already, so I'm not gonna, oh, damn it, this glare. I have these somewhere, so I don't wanna open these since I have them open somewhere else. But these, I feel like it's not giving the look of how big these are. But anyway, these are very fluffy, very full. But I really, man, I want to do something different. I feel like Marigold is always so pretty, but I really want to get these swanky ones on. So I'm going to try swanky just because they have given me so much trouble. And if I cannot get them on with the lash glue, where is it? my lily lashes power liner if i can't get it on with this we are just going to put these in the trash because i have tried several times i also have where is it y'all don't understand how when i can't find something how that literally just sends me into a tailspin i think it's velour and it's their three in one this you just line your let your lash line and then you stick the lash to it so I'm just going over my liner um but the other one is a three-in-one so you can use it with magnetic lashes or you can use it as just a liner which I don't know why you would do that because it is like thirty dollars or you can use it with regular lashes so if you use it when it's wet then you use it with regular lashes if you let it dry down you use it with magnetic lashes and it works really really well we finally got it oh my goodness now y'all see why I said <laughs> I might have to go on Sephora's website right now and get another one of those power liner because I've never been able to put these lashes on. You do not understand. And y'all saw how fast that was. So I'm going to put the other one on, come back and do lips, and that'll be the end of the video. But I am too excited right now because this is an all-time first for me. I'm so excited about my lashes. I don't even know what I want to do with my lips. These are so spiky and dramatic. I absolutely love them. Okay, lips. I don't want to go too nude. I have four of their lip liners. So I have Bad Apple. I have Rosewood. I have Mesquite. And Molasses. Molasses is, I'm going to show you swatches real quick. Mesquite is super pretty. They call that a brown. I don't know about that. This is molasses. This is super, super dark, which I think we may have to do. I feel like we went kind of winter makeup. This is definitely not spring. This is rosewood. So that one is lighter. They also kind of call that a brown. And then this is bad apple. Let's see. I don't think that's dark enough. So we're not doing that. We're probably going to go either mesquite or rosewood. I'm just not sure. Let's see what mesquite looks like. Yeah, I don't want red. So we're going to go, not rosewood, sorry. We're going to go ahead and go molasses, which is the brown. And I'm just going to mix all these together. It'll be fine. But I love the formula of these. It is a gel liner and it glides on. It's no tugging, no kind of drying out your lips. Love that it's retractable. Extremely pigmented, like everything to love about a liner. 
I think it comes with a sharpener too. Yes, it does. Except the smell. I don't know why they smell so medicine-y, but they do. And then for lips, I have four, five lip colors. So I have their lip blush, which I hope they still make these. I think they're called a blotted lip thing now or something. I don't know, but this is in the shade number 10. Yeah, just the number 10. Then I have their cream lip stain in the shade number 39, which is a cool tone. I'm kind of leaning towards that one. This is number 23, also in the same. And then I have their Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color. I hope they still make these in the shade Plum Luster. And then another Luster Matte. I don't have any of their bullets. I don't really buy bullets in Fig Luster. So I guess I can try to swatch these real quick. <clears throat> so this is Fig. This is Plum, very dark. Then we have the Lip Blush, which this was in my purse for a while. I love this. It's too big of a swatch, but I think I'm kind of leaning towards that one. And then the smaller one, this is number 23, which I feel like is gonna look similar. Oh no, it's more cool toned. And then number 39, which I don't think I've worn this one in a while. Is this new? I don't even know. Ooh, can you even see that? It is super cool toned. I do feel like I need to go nude. We might need to mix some of the pink or the plum or something in there. That's a little too dark, but I love that shade. Let's go with a little pink in the middle. I've heard that their bullets are very creamy. Yeah, that's better. Are very creamy. A lot of people recommend them. I just haven't tried them yet, but... I'm more of a cream lip kind of girl. I like the long wear. I don't like having to bring lip products with me to touch up during the day. So I usually go for something more long wearing. This is really cool toned. But it goes with the eyes, so I'm not mad at it. Last but not least, I only have one gloss. Y'all have seen this several times. I'm thinking about picking up more shades, but I know I don't need it because I have other glosses. So I'm trying not to let the sale entice me, but this is their plumping lip gloss in zero number um, zero two, and it's like XXL or something like that. And we'll put a little bit just in the center. Well, we're gonna put it all over just to make them lips look juicy. And that is it for this video. I do have their setting spray, but it's in Houston. So I don't have it with me. I feel like it's like the Urban Decay All Nighter, but not quite as All Nighter. Um, it's not a Fix Plus. It's longer lasting than that, but it's not as hardcore as like the Patrick Star or the Charlotte Tilbury. So it's good just for setting and kind of taking the powdery finish away. And it does help my makeup last longer. I just don't feel like it has quite the same properties. But yeah, that is it for my whole face. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I loved filming this. Thank you so much to my subscriber who requested it. I love hearing from you guys and I feel like I'm about to put makeup all over myself. Comment below. Let me know if you have any of these products, which ones you think look the best. Did this kind of sway you to try something out? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.